Hello, I'm Charles, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to find out which user has stopped, rebooted, or terminated your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Windows instance. Let's get started. An EC2 Windows instance can be stopped or rebooted either through AWS, including the AWS Management Console, AWS Command Line Interface, or the AWS SDK, or through the Windows Operating System. However, an EC2 Windows instance can be terminated only through the AWS Management Console, CLI, or SDK. Interactions with your EC2 instance through the AWS Management Console, CLI, or SDK will create an API call. If the instance event occurred within the last 90 days, then you can use AWS CloudTrail event history to get more information about the event. Each call has an event name which you can review in CloudTrail. Let's use CloudTrail to see if this was done through the APIs. To see your instance event in CloudTrail, follow these steps. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudTrail Console. Then select Event History on the Navigation pane. Here you can see the most recent API calls on your account. In the Lookup Attributes drop-down list, choose Event Name to search the API call by name. For the Event Name text box, enter one of the following event names, depending on your situation. In this case, my instance was rebooted unexpectedly, so I'll enter Reboot Instances. From the Events list, select the event name. On the Details page, you can see the username of the AWS Identity and Access Management IAM identity that initiated the event. If CloudTrail doesn't show Stop Instances or Reboot Instances events for your instance, then the instance wasn't stopped or rebooted using AWS resources. In this case, the instance event was likely initiated within Windows. To see more information about the instance event in Windows, check your Windows Event Viewer logs. To do this, connect to your instance and then complete the following steps. For this example, I'll connect to the instance with RDP. On the Windows taskbar, choose Search and then enter Event Viewer. Choose Event Viewer to open the tool. In the navigation pane on the left, expand Windows Logs, and then choose System. In the Actions pane on the right, choose Filter Current Log. In the Filter Current Log dialog box, click on the All Event IDs field, and enter 1074 and 1076, because these are the event IDs for reboots and shutdowns and then choose OK. The event log shows the user who initiated the event. An EC2 Windows instance might stop or reboot in Windows in the following situations. A Windows update reboots the OS. This can either be automatic or user initiated. A third party tool issues the command, hardware unexpectedly failing, or an AWS plan maintenance event stops or restarts the instance. For plan maintenance, AWS sends notifications before they occur. For hardware failures, you'll receive an email message or a notification on your AWS Health dashboard. And now you know how to find out which user has stopped, rebooted, or terminated your Amazon EC2 Windows instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.